In this video, I'll show you how to install LUTs, or how some people call them video filters, to VN app on your phone. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate, and in this channel, I talk everything around smartphone videography and content creation. If you don't know what are LUTs, let me quickly explain it to you. LUT, or lookup table, is pretty much a preset or a filter for your videos. Why would you need to use LUTs? First of all, if you want to achieve a certain aesthetic that you saw from a movie or from the video online, but you don't know how to achieve it, LUTs are for you. A lot of videographers and filmmakers, including myself, have their own style of editing and color grading. And a lot of these filmmakers and videographers create the LUTs, like I did myself. This way, pretty much everyone in one click can achieve a similar aesthetics in their own videos. Another reason why you might want to consider to use LUTs is to simply save time. It takes a while to color grade each video, especially if you're developing your own style. And I created my LUTs for personal use so that I can just press the button, do some minor tweaks and call it a day. It saves me so much time. In case you want to check out the LUT pack that I made myself that was inspired by movies and TikTok and Reels trend, I will leave a link down below. So without further ado, let's do it. I will be demonstrating how to do it on my iPhone, but it's pretty much the same process on Android. The only thing is the download location. Unfortunately, up to this day, there are very few apps that support LUTs. And from what I know, VN is the only free app that supports LUTs. So let's go ahead and download it first. If you don't have this app on your phone yet, please go ahead and download it. I will leave a link in the description below. I assume you already have your .cube files, which is a format for LUTs downloaded on your phone or you have a link to either Dropbox or Google Drive or website. I myself supply my LUTs to people who purchase them using Dropbox. Um, they get a link and you open Dropbox. Uh, from this screen, you might not have it in your case. In the case of my uh, people who purchase it from me, I found that if you use the app, some, sometimes it does not work properly. So I suggest going to continue to website and from there you'll see the whole list of .cube files. You go ahead and download them and uh, download. It comes in the zip file. You download it. Okay, let's wait and it goes to files folder. Again, on Android, it might be a different location. Okay, here you go. If you see it, it's a zip file. You need to unzip it. On iPhone, you just press on it and it gets unzipped. And you see Katelic LUTs. Here you go. Now you see the list of all the .cube files and you'll need to load them to VN. This process is uh, might be a little bit intimidating because your app will probably crash a few times and it will freeze a few times. It's completely normal, I guess, because the files are pretty heavy and uh, uh, it's just uh, usually a process that is made on uh, desktop. So be patient, don't be scared and just repeat the process a few times. It'll probably crash my phone as well. Let me show you what it's going to look like. Again, don't do it all at once. We'll do it one by one. So let's go to the first one, Caramel. I long press on it and go to share and you will see the list of all the apps you can do it with. And I scroll to the right because I use VN pretty often. I already see the icon in here. In your case, if you just download the VN, you'll probably need to click on more and you'll see VN in the list. Go to VN and uh, it opens the uh, app. You'll skip the ad, import tips, press okay. And I will create the new folder and I name it Kate Telic. Fun fact, it's not actually not my full last name. My full name is Telecola, but people have a hard time pronouncing it. So I go by Kate Telic. That's uh, the nickname that my friend gave me. And it means uh, Telic, Telic means uh, TV in Russian. <laughs> okay, let's create a filter library. Create success and now let me open one of my latest projects. Here we go. Okay, I opened the project. I see my video imported. 
you might need to import the first video if you never used VN and you go to filter and you see it appeared already caramel um, so again it might crash right now if I press on it so I press oh actually it did it right away so if you see I can adjust the intensity now let's do exactly the same thing for the rest let's go back film one hold and press press and hold share and let's go to VN again because it's a free app you will often see the ads continue to app import tip okay let's go to Ktelic okay successful let's double check I again I always do it one by one and I make sure that it's loaded in the filters let's see film one it looks like it's loaded actually yes here we go perfect I tested this a uh, lot back with my friend and my husband and their phones crashed so when you load the file you go to filters and uh, you will actually see if you see that the color of the icon is different like if you see like it's the film one is very different from caramel that means it's probably loaded if you see that the icons are pretty much the same as the original most probably it's not loaded so just just wait just keep them there like don't even press on it and change the intensity because 100% it will crash it. I don't know how many times I said it will crash today. So yeah, I just don't want you to be scared of it and just get freaked out that, you know, filters, the LUTs don't work because they do. It's just, uh, it's, it's a longest process to install them, but like the actual usage of them is super simple. Again, like you'll see one click and you just adjust the intensity. That's it. Okay, let's just test the third one. Let's go to film two, long press, share, and let's go to um, VN, import tip, okay, okay, italic, one successful. Okay, film two, see, see it right now, I see that it's not loaded 100%. Okay, let's go back to film. Even if I press on film one, you can see right now, it doesn't change anything. That, that means that it's been frozen, so here, yeah. See, it now crashed. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I do, I go back, where is my VN? I go back to VN, skip, open it again, and I press on filter. And if you see right now, film two looks exactly as original. It just means that it's not loaded yet. So I'm just gonna leave it and wait until it does. Give it a little bit, okay, here we go. I don't know if you saw it, but um, the sky looks different so i'm assuming it's already loaded and the this one this is actually my favorite lot i even call it signature because i use this uh, settings in probably 90 percent of my videos and even pictures Ketelic, here we go okay and if you see it's warmer tones, a little bit different blues and greens hues and your skin looks a bit more tan. That's just my style, it looks a little bit more like, I don't know, retro, warm and cozy. <laughs> I use it yeah, again all the time. A couple of things to consider when you use LUTs. I almost never use my LUTs or any other LUTs to 100% because it looks kind of too much and unrealistic especially if it's one of this like if you see a film like that it looks just too much so i would probably use it at 70 percent or even lower if you see 59 that's how i'll probably use it if you see 100 yeah it's too much it looks too fake just keep in mind that sometimes less is more unless it's black and white like usually black and white in order to get black and white footage you'll need to use it at 100 percent but you can also use it let's say like 60 percent to have this desaturated look in your videos and also probably my signature lot you can use it at more or less 100 percent because it's pretty soft another thing just please keep in mind that LUTs would not be able to save your footage. So you'll need to have a good original video in order to make it look good using LUTs, if you know what I mean. Just keep it in mind, the lighting when you make your video so it doesn't have grain, the composition and things like that. The only probably exception to that is my little hack. If you have totally crappy video, like you had very bad lighting, it looks 
grainy, the skin tones and like other tones look really bad and you cannot really fix it in your um, post-production, you can use black and white filter because it will make everything more less the same color. And I'll add some grain to it or dust and particles overlay. So this way it is as if I meant to make my video look like that. So, so vibey and old uh, style. And so now you know, if you see black and white videos on my Instagram, most probably the original looked really crappy. So I tried to fix it and use this hack. And last thing, if your video consists of few clips, just make sure that these clips are more or less consistent in terms of brightness and contrast and things like that, and then apply your LUTs. Actually, I'm thinking now I will leave a link down below to a Dropbox folder with my favorite dust particles, overlays, um, film burns, and other free resources. So feel free to check it out. All of them are free for personal use. Most of them are not free for commercial use because I didn't actually make them. I downloaded them for free on internet from different resources. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like because it really helps me grow my channel. And please also give me a follow if you want to see more smartphone videography tutorials and tips and tricks. See you soon.